This bear market so far has been much worse than anyone had anticipated and nobody knows it still may get even worse from what it is today because the Federal Reserve just keeps tightening and tightening to do the best they can to control inflation. So it is fantastic times for, for us guys who are still here in crypto, who still stay here to look for the next big altcoin gems for the next bull run. It's not gonna be anytime soon, but now is the time to educate. So welcome back to AR7 channel guys once again. None of this is financial advice as always, but I just educate you, or I help you educate on what I learn and what I'm looking at the markets when it comes to Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, and many more other altcoins like today's altcoin is gonna be called DAO. Now, Briefly, why am I interested in this uh, coin? So I'm just gonna touch on it briefly, you know, like first of all, anything that, one thing that gets my attention right away is a coin that is really successful in a bear, in a bear market, okay? So as you guys know, we started our bear market here in crypto in uh, November, so November 2021 was the peak. And uh, you know, January, February, so I mean, we did have some dead counts, uh, dead, dead cat bounce rally here in early April, but you know, not many coins did more than 100x uh, in this kind of dead cat bounce in April. So just the fact that Cold Dow had been uh, absolutely like the best performer of April 2022, it just got my attention right away. You know, I like before I even go into the fundamentals, when I see coins like that, it's very interesting to me. Now, as you guys know, so Shiba Inu was, whether you like it or not, guys, it, you know, it doesn't really matter, like, what are the fundamentals when it comes to, uh, sometimes it doesn't matter wh when it comes to altcoins, when you want to convert them for the best gain you can and uh, sell them somewhere uh, close to the top. Shiba Inu, as you guys know, they are not, uh, I mean, they're actually relatively improving fundamentally than how they started. They are, they have a DEX and they are, I think they're creating a stable coin and they are trying to create an ecosystem, but... You know, their real big success was just the fact that they're a meme coin and that they're kind of a brother of Dogecoin and kind of, you know, a better Dogecoin. So in reality, you know, their price appreciation was not really based on important technological innovation. But what I'm trying to say is that in a bull market, as we've experienced in 2021 or in 2017, it doesn't matter that much. So Shiba Inu was the absolute best performer of uh, the previous bull market when it comes to the upside that it had. Now, if we look at this, this I, I don't even know how many numbers this is, but if you go back to 2020, it did, I don't know, something like a million X or 100,000 X or something like that. Now, bear in mind, like almost nobody really knew about Shiba Inu in 2020. I was investing into 2020 and I didn't even, I consider myself a pretty kind of, you know, pretty engaged, uh, active um, um, uh, crypto uh, person. And I mean, I didn't really hear about uh, Shiba, I believe, until like February or March. I mean, it was still low, as you can see from this like uh, big chart here. But I mean, March was already a price that was much higher than this. But anyway, realistically, realistically, from the times that like some people that were not involved with the project started to hear about it was here, January and February. And from here, it was possible to make a 2000 X on Shiba if you bought it here and uh, sold it somewhere uh, around that time in October, November. So as we said, Shiba was absolutely the best <clears throat> performer when it comes to price appreciation last bull run. And I think Koldao has among the best chances of emulating Shiba Inu. Now, one of the main reasons is because <clears throat> there's many, many, like, you know, it's not a fundamental uh, uh, video about Colt. We're gonna just discuss technically why they have good potential. Um, so it's just not a deep dive uh, fundamentally, but basically there are rumors that Koldao is, was actually created by Rayoshi, the same uh, founder of Shiba actually. And you know, there are some uh, rumors that uh, Rayoshi is uh, not happy with uh, centralized exchanges kind of destroying um, Shiba Inu because Shiba Inu in the very beginning was only in Uniswap and they were not on centralized exchanges. And in his opinion, they kind of, well, not really was very great for the success of Shiba because the price was much more manipulated and stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, that's very possible. Uh, but anyway, called DAO right now, they are mostly on Uniswap and they have very, very little liquidity on uh, decentralized exchanges. And as you can see, the main liquidity is in Uniswap, which is another pretty good thing about called DAO because even now, uh, I, like I personally don't buy this coin now, but I mean, if anyone buys it right now, it still has not a bad liquidity. Like you can still buy like 50K or something like that of um, uh, worth of uh, cold DAO and you will still not affect the price too tremendously. So you'll be able to get a good bag at uh, 50K. So um, 
Anyway, so why am I so interested? As we said, so one thing is just this crazy price appreciation. Right away, it's very interesting to me. Another very important reason is because there are rumors that the same creator of Shiba was the creator of Cold Dow. And, you know, the future people in the next bull run, they're going to see, oh, okay, what was the most successful uh, in 2021? Shiba Inu. Like, I, I can tell you that in early 2021, everybody were always looking what is going to be next Verge, next Verge, next XVG. And uh, Verge was like actually the, the Shiba Inu just of 2017. Now, it wasn't really successful in 2021, but in 2017, that was the Shiba Inu of that cycle. Like, it was the most successful the highest upside that it had in 20 uh, from all the coins that had in 2017 so uh every so what i'm trying to say is like the people in the early parts of the bull market in 2021 their goal was i want to find the next verge the next this one and these who found shiba they found the next verge and call dao could be the 2024 or whatever the next bull run uh, when it's gonna be then a call DAO could be the Shiba slash the Verge of the next cycle. Uh, and that's why I think it has tremendous potential. So another reason that I, uh, so another like little touch about the fundamentals, uh, you know, uh, again, we're not gonna go too deeply, but you know, they are kind of slightly kind of odd, uh, you know, uh, like design and stuff like that. But what, what important is that uh, when it comes to the narrative that, you know, the purpose, you can hear, read it here. The purpose of cult is to empower and fund those building and contributing towards decentralization future. Our society is built to make it difficult as uh, possible to break away from societal, economic and other norms. So basically what is interesting to me about that is, um, you know, because of the high inflation, again, it's very speculative. We'll just have to live life and see what happens. This is my first ever video about cult and I'm going to do more videos in the future. But the interesting thing that I think is very possible to happen when it comes to a future narrative is that because of the inflation and because the Fed was tightening a lot and like increasing interest rates and maybe some people wouldn't be able to pay uh, their mortgages anymore because the interest rate is too high. So they're going to be forced sellers and maybe the banks will buy these houses or, you know, it's very speculative. I have no clue if it will happen, but I just think there is a possibility uh, that we're going to have again economic kind of breakdowns and economic r r lots of struggles for people. So <clears throat> I think there's a good chance that people will again kind of be uh, like against banks and they will not like centralization. And I mean, even in the crypto world, you know, you, we have all the Celsius saga going on and why something like Celsius could happen because it's centralized. It's one of the problems. So um, I think this project could interest uh, people in a kind of Dijon way in the future um, if people would not like centralization in banks and also centralization in crypto and they would want to go to cult. And again, so you can add this possible narrative to the fact that just the simple fact that the creator of this coin cult is the same one of Shiba. So these are the reasons why I'm interested in this coin. Now, technically speaking, uh, so Shiba, even after all the bear market that uh, Shiba has already had, um, <clears throat> it's still at 6.4 uh, billion market cap. Cold DAO is 100x less than that. I know it's a little digit, I know it's still 2022 and not 2024 or whatever the next bull run is, but I honestly think there are chances that Cold DAO will surpass Shiba in the future. Because again, people get DJ, that's like Shiba almost surpassed Doge, you know, and like, uh, anyway, things happen. Crypto is crazy. I think Cold has a good chance to surpass Shiba, um, or at least, I guess, get at least to the valuation Shiba has now. So uh, since it's 6 billion, uh, I think Cold has a good chances of, you know, doing 100x. It doesn't even look very crazy to me. And especially, you know, now we're in the bear market. So in the future, like bull market, you know, uh, so Shiba Inu right now is coin number 13. So <clears throat> like in a bull run, a 6 billion coin is not going to be number 13. It could be like number 50 or something like that. So uh, and I mean, we're not even at the top, right? So the top for Shiba was almost a 10x from here, <clears throat> from the current price of Shiba. So uh, if we even round it up, that's like, so let's put it like this. If Cold Dao gets to uh, the, um, <clears throat> the top that Shiba had over here, which was equivalent to, we can see it here in the market cap, which was um, 41. Okay, let's put it like this, 41 billion. Okay, 41 billion and that's 61 million. Guys, it's like super close to a thousand X. And you know, just if Cold uh, actually Cold kinda, I believe if we were even here, from here, it's a thousand X. So just if cult retraces back to like zero eight, 
that's a possible thousand x now again we'll have to live life the bull run is you know uh, well, let's see if the narrative plays out but i just say that it, it's possible okay that's the most important so that's why i'm interested in this coin and um i guess the last reason guys that i want to check with you is that i love to see this okay just this stuff here and i can show it also on trading view that i also of course as you guys uh, know i like to use trading view um <clears throat> let's put it actually like this not necessarily logarithmic because the new coin i love to see how it relatively has really good support like relatively speaking we're in the bear market okay and one of the crazy things like let me show you one more thing that first of all call dow is coin number three four six <clears throat> okay like it's, it's not, not even top 300 okay of uh, crypto right now but <clears throat> the crazy thing is that they're only 81 percent down now if you're not a crypto person you're probably thinking what the heck how is that good <laughs> how is 80 percent down is good but guys in a crypto bear market it's not too bad not too bad at all okay so uh let me show you uh for example uh cardano okay cardano is one of the largest coins coin number eight one of the uh, most uh, you know prominent blockchains in the world <clears throat> it's down 85 percent a little more than uh shiba <laughs> excuse me uh, uh called out um let's look at solana another in my opinion one of the biggest uh, bigger superstars of the next bull run uh in my opinion if everything will go well they're 85 percent down so even solana is down a little bit more than uh cold dow you know what i mean so uh and again and cold dow is a smaller coin like i'm not, i don't want to make this video too long but if you just out of curiosity want to go check coin gecko on coins that are number 347 348 345 344 I'm almost guarantee unless it, like it's uh, you know a very specific coin if you check like random 10 coins that are around the rank of cold DAO I'm pretty sure they're gonna be more than 90% down I'm not checking it right now you can check it yourself and you can uh, audit me if I'm right or wrong I'm pretty sure I'm right that most of them are 90% down and many even pretty good coins are like 95% down and by the way it doesn't sound a lot I just want to mention one more thing that the difference between 81% down or 90% down sometimes I understand psychologically it doesn't sound that much but actually guys it's a lot or especially if it's 95% it's a lot okay I mean so let's put it like this if cold collapses from the current price another 80% that's gonna be approximately 93 94% down overall okay so like I just want you to understand that something that is down 95% from the all-time high and something that is 80% down it's a huge huge difference very big difference because like the 95 percent is actually an extra 80 percent down from the current price that this one has here so um as i said so i guess we can wrap it up by just explaining what wh what why do i think it's good because normally the really good coins they they do have this relative strong support and especially if it's a small coin it's even more impressive than had it been <clears throat> a big coin okay so even shiba is still kind of doing not too bad but like you can see like theoretically if shiba would have stayed let's uh, return back to the price if shiba would have held support at this like uh 2147 area and not dropping here dropping here from like the two to two to one area uh shiba was also super impressive to me i mean shiba is still relatively impressive but you know like uh, since it's a already a large coin and it's already been a Dijon play it could have a similar fate to verge like not really succeeding in the next bull run but let's see who knows um but basically you see what i mean because they did were unable to hold the support that's why they are relatively less impressive to me but like if you just look at when Ko, uh, excuse me when shiba inu did succeed in a huge way you can see it did have a crazy crazy top <clears throat> and it held the support look how fantastic it was just holding and it was still a lot of buy pressure like some people were selling but still many were still accumulating and still buying and the volume was relatively high and then it still did a 10x again uh like from here to here that was approximately a 10x and before that uh you can see all, all, also like normally well i mean over here it was kind of going parabolic but uh let me show you maybe okay this one is a good example okay so that was like more the beginning of how shiba started succeeding but <clears throat> you see so it had this huge spike and again it was like as you can see it wasn't exactly holding the support but it was still the same range more or less okay it was still and sometimes that's why it happens it like holds the support it makes some sort of a fake out going slightly down like over here but then actually breaks to the upside so that's what shiba did here and basically that's the charts that i like to see that they are still trending higher okay they they did have the crazy spike 
they are uh, consolidating like here but then they're going higher <coughs> so as i said with all the crazy bear market that we've had that's why i have the price uh, that's why i like the price action of uh, uh, cold out so as you guys uh, uh, people who watch it in this exact moment right now this is july 2022 we're definitely gonna check this coin again in um 2023 probably <laughs> in 2024 but as i said this is one of my interesting coins in the watch list that i honestly think have a really decent potential to do 100x and also maybe a thousand x so we'll keep monitoring guys so thanks you guys once again for joining me here uh, on ar7 channel once again and we're gonna do our absolute best to find the best altcoins so um yeah guys good luck in the bear market remember don't you know don't invest more than you can afford to lose it's not a financial advice but you know the bear market is still on okay there is some chance we have bottomed but uh, for bitcoin but you know most altcoins are still likely to go even further down from here so uh yeah guys keep safe out there enjoy your weekend and i hope you have a fantastic also week ahead so thanks again and cheers